What's up? It's me, Mystery, and um, behold, I have made something truly incredible, you could say. Um, well, more so, that's that's going to be up to, up to you all, because I, I don't know. I don't know whether I did a good job or not. So, yeah, I mean, it's no secret. I made bob on Battlefield from Super Mario 64 in Fall Guys, but how good is it? That's that's what I that's what I need to know, and what um, I hope you can tell me by the end of this video. If you have a better version of bob on Battlefield, please show me. I want to see it. But uh, let's get into the actual level. Um, first things first. This is the code in the top left corner. You can read it off there. Uh, Bot Bean Battlefield. I stayed up till like almost midnight. It was actually 11, but practically midnight making this. And, um, I mean, it's recognizable, right? You can tell. And as you can see, I only have, um, 25 more in the budget, so. Uh, yeah, let's just just go in and look around, huh? So for trees, I use these I use these things and for um, cannons, I use these quite effective. There's one of the rolling balls, but they're oranges since it's fall guys. Instead of the rotating lift, I just used a fan so you could get back up if you fell. There's another cannon there, and there's these three trees, those rocks. And here we have uh, the chain chomp. You have to sneak past. And if you get behind the chain chomp into their cage, you get a, uh, a golden egg, which are Easter eggs for, um, for the stars in Mario 64. I didn't hide seven of them, but I... I hit, uh, I think six, or five, I hit five. There's the acorn star over there, this is another one. And here, this, this area just needed something, so I put some, some rotating, uh, little spinny things. You can fling yourself, uh, oh. Uh, there's a, there's a gap there. So on Fall Guys, you can see, there's like these gaps everywhere. Because the way you place um, blocks is like they don't want you to make uh, rounded shapes. They want everything to be like I don't know, like straight, like on an axis, I guess. So that's really annoying. And um, uh, really, it was just difficult to make a level that you're meant to explore in. But instead, you, um, and here's the slope that you can fall down that has the red coin. Oh, I just got, oh my god, the oranges are killing me. This is like the only gameplay part of this level, because as I was saying, it's difficult to make a level where you just explore in Fall Guys. Uh, yeah, this one's a little random. It's a shortcut there, I'll show off soon. Uh, you can just jump over the fence. You don't have to go to this part. Yeah, it, <laughs> the oranges are completely random for whether they actually hit you or not. But maybe I should have fine-tuned those more. I set the angles to be like right on the path. I don't know why they don't work. So I use this. It's not really much of a boost, but this is the egg for the floating island, which you can see over there. Because I ran out of budget, so that's what it looks like. I didn't want to use too much stuff, so I just, um, whoops. Thankfully we have the only checkpoint in the level, I can use the shortcut to get just back to where I was. But, um, yeah, I, <laughs> I just used it with as little budget as possible, so that is, <laughs> this is just a, um, suggestive representation of the floating island. Alright, so we get back to where we were. Let's use the flip for um, the sake of 
it being there. That's the, one of the other cannons. That's how you get onto the island. And here's the super duper hard shortcut, only for Fall Guys experts. Sometimes that drum usually gets you up really high, but here's the final uh, power egg, I guess. And there's the exit. So yeah, it's <laughs> some parts of it are, are a bit rough, but I don't know. Do you think I did a good job? I tried to be as accurate as I could, um, even getting like the tree placements exact. But when I got to the mountain, it just got a bit. It just got to be too much. Like it, it just wasn't looking right. Trying to make it in Fall Guys, so I, I, uh, I took some liberties and I try to prioritize the gameplay over all else but um i still think it like it feels like mario 64 i just completely ignored the bottom path because fall guys is linear it it doesn't make any sense to have to go down here but um yeah how do you think i did um should i tweak some stuff uh make sure it's like as good as it can be or do you think it's it's good enough to ship as is and um, by all means uh, send me send me your interpretations above on battlefield send me others I guess um, see if they did better than I did but yeah make sure you uh, check it out with the code play it for yourself if you want and uh, yeah I guess you can uh, you can give me a level review. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's, that's about all for this video. Thanks for watching. Like if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. And uh, let me know what to make next in Fall Guys Creative. Thank you and bye bye.